Here we are in the first week of our Daring Hope campaign. We are memorizing Hebrews 6, verse 19. How's it coming so far in the week? We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain. Our anchor is heavenward, not in the deepest sea, but in the highest of heaven, into the very presence of God. And Jesus went there. Sometimes I think it feels like he left us here. But the concept in Hebrews 6 is that he is our forerunner. He, he goes ahead of us and, and prepares and, and blazes the trail. And that trail leads to the very presence of God. So as we are connected to him, that hope is steadfast. It's sure. And it's in the very presence of God. And then the text goes on in the next verse. It says, where Jesus, who went before us, has entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek's a fascinating Old Testament figure. It doesn't list a genealogy for for Melchizedek. There's no listing of a birth or a death. and doesn't mean that he didn't, but, but he serves as a better model type of, of our Savior because there is no written genealogy. He's apparently, as far as the Old Testament record is concerned, he's still around. But that's the kind of priest that needed. The, the priest from, from Aaron had to go in twice to that Holy of Holies every year, once to bring pain, penalty for his own sin, and then wants to pay for the sin of the nation. And once you pay for your own sin, in reality, you can't go back in. And so we have a Savior who's gone in with his own precious blood. He is able as a sinless Savior who lives forever like the order of Melchizedek and can come in, into that very presence and, and hold our, our hope sure and secure. So I hope you memorize that verse this week because we have a sure and steadfast anchor in the Savior Jesus Christ, our priest, our Melchizedekian priest. Have a great week.